title fight between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Curtis Razor Blades. All right, so here is the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco national champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Blades is 29, Adesanya is 31. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. Same numbers on reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. 
This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfield. Big punch land in the middle. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire the act. Watch, there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling. And if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does for this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Got clipped with the right hand. Blades is back inside control here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Back in the clinch, let's see what he does now. Israel Adesanya's got his back. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Really good body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Under two minutes to go in the round. Dig and kick. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble. Man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Real quick leg kick. Good takedown defense by Israel. Right hand punch from the clinch. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh! Oh! Final seconds of round one. Right oh, he might be out. Round two coming up next. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, let's get to round two. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Five total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And connecting with a 39% accuracy right here tonight against Curtis Razor Blitz. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Just over three minutes to go. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the cage. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 
Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Adesanya. Oh, nice. Nice. Through the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. Oh! Oh, beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. Takedown defense holds up. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice jab. And that's the end of round number two. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first he doesn't see. If I try again, was ever getting down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Blades. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Adesanya. Right hand on point. Blades' his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Broken in half guard here, making these shots count. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Blades is back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Relentless pressure from the top by Blades. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. 10 seconds to go. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All 
right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh! That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands with a right hand. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Curtis Blades. Sonya's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents are walking through. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. You're winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and the new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Curtis Mason. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream.